good morning and welcome to this beautiful Wednesday morning. Um, um, welcome to the Daily Devotional. The topic before us says, the sin of confetuousness. Now, um, our Bible text will be taken from Exodus 18, verse 21. And it says, Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. And the memory verse is Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Luke 12, 15. It says, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. Um, first, what is confessiousness? Because that would give us the understanding of what we uh, want to talk about. Confessiousness is, an, uh, according to dictionary, it says it's an inordinate desire for wealth or possession that belongs to someone, someone else. Yes, um, wealth inordinate. That means unjustifiable. Um, desire for wealth or possession that belongs to someone else. Now from the text and the Bible um, and the memory verse that we read, we understand that it is one of those things that God doesn't like. The sin of confessiousness is one thing that God does not like at all because um, it actually makes, it makes us to do some things. It makes us to, it makes us to sin against God, to bring some things to our path. Now, for instance, sin of confessiousness comes as a result of lust. I'll show, I'll give us two examples where these things happen and the repercussions. The first one is in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 from 1 to 11 when God told King Saul to, to go to the Amalekites and smite all of them. But the thing is, because of lust, because of um, confessiousness, Saul decided to spare King Agag, King Agag and also the best of sheep, the best of cows, the best of everything that they had. Because of confessiousness, he decided to keep those things. And another thing again, and I'll give you an, another example of um, the physical world. Um, we human beings that desire wealth that we don't have or we don't have yet, it makes us go deep and sin against God, which brings about judgment. For instance, for King Saul, he brought about um, rejection. God rejected Saul because it is disobedience. God rejected Saul immediately. And for every human who goes after lust, after things like that, it's a sin against God. And also, it brings about disparity between ourselves and God. It creates a gap. A gap between ourselves and God. So um, uh, it is my prayer today that lust that is as a result of sin or confessiousness, God will take it out of our life. And I want to also advise us today that please let us um, avoid and go away from anything that has to do with sin of confessiousness. And I'm sure that we've been blessed today. And um, if you have been blessed today, please, I want you to click on the subscribe button and then subscribe and then share to your loved ones. God bless you.